Hey guys, Vernon to see you again, and uh, today I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about pets f for rating. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, uh, I'm going to show you my top five pets that I think are most important and are the strongest pets in PvE. Uh, for raids, this differs. I'm going to go ahead and give you my number one and two choices for pets but it all comes down to your raid group and what buffs you need uh... Let's, and i'm also going to talk a little bit about uh... ferocity versus cunning so let's start with my good old friend shadowclaw here my uh... cat let's go to pen talents all right uh... what's good about cat pets is if you have a warrior or, or if you don't have a warrior or a DK or you do that is really bad at keeping up their uh, I believe it's battle shout and horn of winter uh, you can just keep your cat out uh, advantages to having your cat out is I personally like ferocity pets for call of the wild because that helps your damage and I usually use it during my uh, rapid fire phase uh... so where's the buff it's called war of courage keeps increases your strength and agility by four or uh, five forty nine within a hundred yards last one minute and you can keep this up all raid so uh... it's really nice if you don't have one of those two it's definitely a buff you need so uh... Probably want to be carrying a cat with you if you don't have one of those two classes. You know most raids do. Um, for ferocity talents, um, serpent swift, uh, serpent swiftness two for two. Uh, attack power or <laughs> pets attack speed by ten percent. Uh, dash. I get this one because I like my pet running in and starting DPS as fast as possible. It's kind of optional. Spike collar, uh, you definitely need to get it. DPS increase, calling of the herd, DPS increase for you and your pet. I would get it. Charge, same thing with dash. I think it just kind of helps. You can also get bloodthirsty. That might help you if you don't have your glyph of mending and you don't really want to pay attention to your pet. Uh, heart of phoenix. Not you should probably keep your pet alive instead of worrying about Heart of the Phoenix because it is more important talents. I know some people like it. Uh, Spider's Bite DPS increase, get it. Rapid DPS increase, get it. <laughs> Call of the Wild DPS, most important, I think of all the talents, you have to get this one. Wild Hunt this is kind of is why you get in my last video that I showed you you want to get Sickum and go for Throat and be sure with generation and frenzy. Oops, didn't mean to do that. This is kind of why uh, when your pet is above fifty percent or fifty focus, your pet's basic attack will deal one hundred twenty more percent, <laughs> one hundred twenty percent more damage. Gosh, I'm have a twisted tongue today, but costs a hundred. Uh, hundred percent additional focus. Uh, this is a DPS increase. You know, it kind of sounds a little scary. It is better than your other option, Shark Attack, which is six percent extra damage. Uh, I used to go into Shark Attack, not anymore. Survival Hunters. Uh, you might want to think about going into Shark Attack more for the sole reason that you might want to pick up other talents not in the BM tree which is usually what the case is I will be coming out with a survival guide pretty soon uh, so we'll just wait till then go more into detail so get wild hunt alright now let's go to a cunning pet here and of course I don't have Dismiss pet on my bar. There we go. Alright. This is McNick. This is my Ravager. Okay. Uh, what's good about Ravagers, they have one of the most powerful 
buffs you can possibly get and there's not a lot of classes that carry it it is oof, come over here ravage four percent increased physical damage uh... this is really helpful this is what i use in most of my raids because this is the only buff we don't have occasionally i'll use my sunder pet too uh, for for or cunning talents, serpent swiftness get it. Like ferocity dash, it's kind of optional. You can put that wherever you want. I will focus. This just is a DPS increase for your pet. I would get it. Spike collar, get it. <laughs> Feeding frenzy. This is better than your other option, which is cornered. It's, they're kind of switched. This is more of your pet is like up and alive. This is more for PVE if people are trying to kill your pet. Or sorry, PvP if people are trying to kill your pet. So again, Feeding Frenzy for recovery. Uh, this is a nice little focus regen for you. Wolverine Bite. Not really that great of an attack, even though it can't be dodged, blocked, or parried. But it's just to get into Wild Hunt. And then obviously calling the herd too. Dash, uh, not really that great because you should only have to move in once with your one dash. Uh, that's basically it uh, for cunning pets. Now I'll go ahead and talk about specific talents for the rest of my pets. Their unique talent and buff. There we go. Ooh, I just did that. I mean to. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go over my Raptor. Alright, Raptors, Tear Armor, which is a Sunder. Warriors have Sunder, Trues have Sunder. If you have one of those, uh, you don't really need this pet. Again, I like Ferocity pets because of the Call of the Wild. We have wolves, fierce howl, five percent crit. If you have an Ellie Shaman, I think a, it's a Fury Warrior. You don't need this, but again, if you just call the wild, you know, I would choose this over a Cunning Pet unless you absolutely need a Cunning Pet like the Ravager in my case. <laughs> We have Bustin' My Balls, my fav personal favorite pet. Increased bleed damage. This helps my piercing shots, which is a bleed a lot. And it also helps out uh, when we have a rogue and a warrior in our raid. Uh, if we, for Warrior was Arms, we'd already have this and the Ravager bonus. But he likes Fury, so not going to complain right now. Uh... Again, called the wild. That's why I like ferocity pets. Alright, let's. I'm gonna go back to my stable and get one more pet for you. That's kind of important. There's other pets that have good abilities too, but just not as good. This is extra buff, it's optional. Uh, my wind serpent. The rest of my pets you don't really need to look at. It's a blind effect that's good for your ads, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, alright. Wind Serpents. They have Lightning Breath, which is increased magical damage. This is good for survival hunters, and it's also good for um, if you don't have a lock. And I think it's a boomkin who provides this buff. I think Shadow Priest might provide it too. I'm not sure. Uh, you want to definitely use this pet. Uh, again, this is a cunning pet. Not that big of a deal. World Recovery is good too. But I just prefer Call of the Wild. Anyway, the <laughs> sorry for uh, misspeaking again. Um, I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll try to rehearse more before I do these guides. 
Uh, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time.